Welcome back to my channel, Maths with Armin. This is another grade 12 mathematics uh, video on differential calculus. In this video, we want to do some application of the differentiation rules with a number of examples. If you have not subscribed to my channel, Maths with Armin, please do so. Please subscribe to Maths with Armin. In this video, we're going to start off with some um, differentiation notations. Then we're going to look at the different rules that we can apply. And then I'm going to have a few examples. As with all my uh, videos, there'll also be a exercise worksheet at the end. Let us look at some of the notation that we'll be using for differentiation. And then also the applicable differentiation rules. Yeah. You only apply first principles if it's clearly stated that you have to apply first principles. Now there are different ways in which you can write the differentiation, the derivative. Okay. So if I have y equal to fx, then the derivative can be given or written as, how do we pronounce that? f prime x. But instead of f prime x, I can also use the y, and I can say y prime. Or I can use the d dx notation, d dx of fx. Or d instead of fx, dy dx. Or mathematicians are trying to find the shortest way of writing, trying to econom economize. So d dx, we can just write down dx, right? So of fx, or we can write dx of y. It will also be necessary for us later to find the derivative of a derivative, right? That is the second derivative. Then, so I can have f double prime x, or the second derivative, or I can say y double prime, not y11 or f11. And we can similarly have d2 dx squared of fx, or we can say d2y dx squared. A little bit difficult on the tongue, but you'll get used to it. So these are the notations that we're going to use. Let's look at the rules that we're going to apply. The first rule is, if fx is a constant, in other words, you have a horizontal line, the gradient of a horizontal line is always equal to zero. Okay? So if I have fx equal to 20, the derivative is 0. fx equal to 2,000, the derivative is 0. fx equal to pi, the derivative is 0. Let's take d dx over power. When you have a power, as we've seen from our first principles, x to the 3 became 3x squared. So x to the n becomes n x to the n minus 1, where r is any real number. For example, x3 becomes 3x squared, right? x to the negative 1, you can even have negative exponents. So that becomes negative 1 times x, and the negative 1 must decrease by 1, so it becomes negative 2. It, you can even have fractions as fractional exponents. So that becomes half, x to the half subtract 1, and that's negative half. Please be careful. If you're not sure, rather place play it safe. Even if you embarrass yourself by subtracting 1, half subtract 1, you find the correct value there. So, if I have x to the quarter, what does that become? That's right. A quarter x to the half subtract a quarter is negative 3 quarters. Be careful there. Now, quite often you have a power, but you also can have a coefficient. So, k times the power would be k times, and then you just differentiate the power. Like 5x to the 3, there's the power, so it'd be 5 times 3x squared, like that, right? And 3 times 5 is 15. I hope you do this mentally. 5 times 3 is 15. 3 subtract 1 is 2. Then we can have, you see, these are only single terms. I can have multiple terms there. Derivative of, let's say, a sum or derivative of a difference is the derivative of the one term plus or minus the derivative of the second term. Let's illustrate that. 
derivative, there's a binomial. So I have derivative of 3x cubed plus the derivative of 4x to the half. And if I differentiate that, it becomes 9x squared, half times 4, 2x to the negative half. Now let us consider some examples. Let us look at this first example. Determine dy dx if y is equal to 4x to the 3 plus x to the negative 4 plus 4x to the half minus 5x plus 8. So first of all, if I want to differentiate 4x to the 3, it becomes 4 times 3x to the 3 subtract 1. Then, if I want to differentiate x to the negative 4, it is negative 4 times x and then the negative 4, I subtract 1 from it. If I want to differentiate 4x to the half, it's 4 times a half times x to the half subtract 1. If I want to differentiate negative 5x, it becomes negative 5. And if I want to differentiate that constant, it just gives me a 0. Then let's simplify that. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 subtract 1 is 2. This is actually you can do mentally. Then negative 4 subtract 1 is negative 5. 4 times a half is 2. And then I've got half subtract 1 is negative a half. And there I've got my negative 5. And there I have my dy dx. Now let's look at the second example. We have fx is equal to x to the 5 plus 1, everything divided by x squared plus the cube root of x squared. Now we first of all need to simplify that. In other words, we take x to the 5 divided by x squared plus 1 divided by x squared. And then we convert the... Um, root form and that becomes x to the two-thirds. You can simplify further. x to the 5 divided by x squared is x to the 3 plus 1 over x squared becomes x to the negative 2 plus x to the two-thirds. Now we're ready to differentiate it. dy dx becomes 3 times x which is 3x squared, negative 2 times x and then negative 2 becomes a negative 3, two-thirds and 2 thirds subtract 1 becomes negative a third. Let's look at our third example. We have to differentiate x minus x to the negative 1 all squared. So first of all, we have to expand. We expand that. It's x minus x to the negative 1. Close the bracket times the bracket x minus x to the negative 1, close the bracket. We expand that. We end up with x times x, which is x squared. x with negative x to the negative 1 becomes negative 1. x to the negative 1 times x becomes a negative 1. And negative times negative is positive. x to the negative 1 times x to the negative 1 is x to the e negative 2. You can simplify that. There are some like terms. So that gives us x squared, negative 1, and negative 1 is negative 2, plus x to the negative 2. Now we can differentiate. So if I want to differentiate x squared, I will get 2x squared. If I differentiate the constant, I'll get 0. And I want to differentiate x to the negative 2, I'll get negative 2x to the negative 3. So there we have it, 2x. That gives me 0. So that gives me negative 2x to the negative 3. Let us consider our fourth example. We want to differentiate x squared minus x minus 6 divided by x minus 3. You see, this is a binomial. So I'll have to first of all, the only way I need can simplify this if we factorize the numerator. So we factorize the numerator, which is the trinomial. It's x minus 3 
times x plus 2. Divide by x minus 3. You can see the x minus 3 and the x minus 3 cancels. So I'm just left with x plus 2. Now we can differentiate. If I differentiate x, it just becomes a 1. And differentiate the 2 becomes a 0. So that one's derivative is 1. Let's look at our fifth example. In this one here, we want to find the second derivative of x to the 4 plus ax squared plus pi. Notice what is pi? Pi is a constant. So first derivative, y prime, that's 4x3 plus 2ax. And because pi is a constant, I have a 0. Second derivative, 3 times 4 is 12. x cubed becomes x squared, 2 a, and then x to the 1, that becomes x to the 0, so I only have a 2a. So the second derivative is 12x squared plus 2a. Let's look at our uh, sixth example. Here we want to differentiate xy minus 2x squared equal to x to the 4 plus 3. Now notice if because we want dy, dx dy indicates we need to make y the subject. And if I look at this, y is not the subject. How can I make y the subject? By transposing all the terms that does not contain a y. So that is, if I have xy, I transpose the negative 2x squared, positive 2x squared, that remains x to the 4 plus 3. Now, I still haven't made y the subject. How can I get y the subject? Divide each term by x. So I divide that by x, I get a y, 2x squared divided by x, x to the 4 divided by x, and 3 divided by x. We need to simplify that, and that gives me a 2x, that gives me a x to the 3, and that gives me 3x to the negative 1. Now I can differentiate that. Derivative of 2x will be 2. Derivative of x to the 3 will be 3x squared. Derivative of 3x to the negative 1 becomes negative 3x to the that's right, negative 2. So dy dx is 2 plus 3x squared minus 3x to the negative 2. Let's look at this next example here. Here we have to find the second derivative of x squared y plus y equal to x to the 4 minus y. Because we want to find d2y, we need to find make y the subject. Now if I look at this here, y is already on the left hand side but there is a y in this term and a y in that term so i can't transpose the x squared i first have to find that's right the common factor so if you find the common factor there i end up with x squared plus one and there i've got x squared minus four and then to get isolate the y i have to divide with x squared plus one so let's divide both sides by x squared plus one now to simplify this what do we need to do that's right, we need to factorize. So if I factorize the numerator, that's a difference of two squares, x squared plus 1, x squared minus 1. The x squared plus 1 cancels with that x squared plus 1, so I end up now with y equal to x squared minus 1. Now I can find the first derivative. So dy dx will be 2x, and then to find the second derivative there of that 2x will now give me just 2. So the second derivative of this expression ends up as a constant 2. Now here's an exercise for you to do. In this first question here, you have to find the first derivative. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 examples here. So you need to try to do that. Then in the second example, there's a second example, question two, there's a question three, there's a question four, there's a question five, and there are two questions under question six there. Try to do this. The solutions to these uh, uh, questions you'll, you'll find at the end of this uh, video here. I hope that uh, this video has helped you to uh, differentiate or use, uh, use uh, determine the first derivative or the second derivative. 
and please if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to maths with armin and there you will find many mathematics uh, topics grade 12 caps mathematics topics i have a number of videos on uh, uh, mathematics topics relating to grade 12 caps mathematics Here are the detailed solutions to the exercise worksheet. Here you will find the solution to question 1a. There's question 1a and question number 1b. In both cases, we had to find the first derivative. Here are the solutions to question 1c. Also finding the first derivative. And 1d also finding the first derivative. Here are the solutions to 1e. Again, we have to find the first derivative. And 1f also finding the first derivative. Here's the solution to question number 2. We have to find the first derivative and then we have to find the function value. Question 3. We have to find a derivative of a difference. So that means it's the difference of the two derivatives. So we have to differentiate the one, subtract the differentiate the other one. And if we do that, this is the solution here. Solution to question four. This is an example where you have to first make y the subject. And then we have to find the first derivative and the second derivative. This is the solution to question number five. We had to find the first derivative. Here's the solution to question 6a, where we had to find the first derivative. Here is the solution to question 6b, where we had to find the first and then the second derivative. Thank you for watching this video. I do trust that uh, you have benefited from it. Please, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, Maths with Armin, where you will find many other mathematics topics relating to grade 12 CAPS mathematics. Thank you.